हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वे डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन चूजिंग क्यूब्स सो क्वेश्चन स्टेट्स डैट ड्रीमेट्री हैज एन क्यूब्स नंबर फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट फ्रॉम वन टू एन द क्यूब विथ इंडेक्स एफ इज इज फेवरेट डिमेट्री थ्रू ऑल क्यूब्स ऑन द टेबल एंड आई एफ क्यूब शोड द वैल्यू ए आई आफ्टर डैट ही अरेंज द क्यूब्स इन नॉन इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ द वैल्यूज From largest to smallest. If two cubes show same value, they can go in any order. After sorting, Dimitri removed the first two cubes. Then he became interested in whether he removed his favorite cube, which could have changed the position after sorting. So, to check it, what he does? For example, we have n equal to five. F equal to two and A equal to four three three two three. So as we have the index two, so at index two we have three here and K equal to two. Then after sorting it would become four triple three two. And since the favorite cube was in second position, it will be removed. so the first k cubes are removed so first two cubes are removed now if first two cubes are removed and we take the next favorite cube which will be 3 so after sorting we see that we have 3 here so it might be possible that the 3 which is here might be his favorite cube so answer would be maybe in this case so what we need to do is we need to print yes if the cube will be removed in all cases no if it not be removed in any case and maybe if it can be removed from either left or the position itself so now let's see in example 1 4 3 3 we have the answer maybe as i explained above in example 2 we have 4 2 1 3 5 and you have here n f k so our f is 5 in this case as f is 5 now we will sort it out so after sorting it will be 1 2 3 4 and 5 now after sorting this out what you need is you need to remove f equal to 5 so the first five cubes are removed so all are removed basically and if cube removed in all the cases you print yes so output would be yes in this case now let's take the example of 5 2 413 which will also come as 1 2 3 4 5 but here f is 2 so as you see the differences in this case we were removing the first three cubes so we remove this first three cubes so in case of k equal to 3 first three cubes would be removed which means these three now we have f of f is 5 so at 5 index we had here 5 which is removed so the answer is yes in case of the next one we have 5 4 3 2 1 
now in this case we have f of 5 which is 3 and we need to remove the first two so first two are removed 3 is still remaining so answer is no like this we will check now what happened in this case is explaining again we did 4 3 3 2 3 so it will become 4 triple 3 2 and here it is written first two will be removed so if first two are removed which is 4 and 3 so the 3 which was at the favorite cube index might be removed if this was the 3 might not be removed if this was the 3 or this was the 3 hence the answer is maybe so the intuition is very simple here just we need to see the index of the elements so what you, we can do is we can count the number of the values which are greater than the favorite cube value so let the count be c1 of the values which are higher than the greatest cube value and then we will take the count of the values which are equal to the favorite cube value let it be c2 because we are sorting in the descending order hence we are taking this case because the highest values will be removed if we are removing the first k elements and the equal to values will be removed so after counting these two what you will do now you will determine if our favorite cube is removed or can be removed or not based on the conditions so if my highest value count is greater than or equal to the number of elements I am removing suppose k so my favorite cube will not be removed I will output no in this case so suppose in this case we uh, calculate how many values are higher than the favorite one my favorite is 3 and I have 2 values higher 2 values are higher than 3 and my k is also 2 so the game is over because that highest values would be removed and my k would remain there hence the answer is no in this case now if c1 plus c2 means both of them combined the higher values and the equal values if they both are less than or equal to k then the answer is definitely yes because the values would be removed all the values of favorite cube will be removed and if both of them are not the case then the output is maybe obviously so I hope you all understood this intuition let's take C1 plus C2 example so if you take C1 means the higher values in this case so higher values than 5 is 0 equal values to 5 is 1 1 is less than equal to 3 so the output is yes in this case so I hope you all understand this now let's look at the code so here what we are doing is counting the higher values if it is greater than equal to k return no if higher and equal values are less than equal to k return yes else return maybe so this is the final solution I hope you all understand this solution. Thanks for watching.